Well, welcome back, kids, to the craft portion of our object lesson of the snowflake. And I thought, what could we do for our, our craft lesson? Well, it only seems natural that we should make a snowflake. Now, we learned that those snowflakes, as beautiful as they are, they're all very unique. No two look alike. So when we do this lesson today, I want you to understand that it doesn't matter how you make your snowflake, it's going to be unique just like you, all right? And, and it'll all work out beautifully. But what we're gonna do is we need to start with a square. And most of you may not have a perfect square, but I'm gonna teach you something today. So no matter what size paper you have, if it's a rectangle, rectangle, you can make it a square, all right? So we're gonna start with a white sheet. And I have actually a green sheet here today also, just to help you visualize this maybe perhaps a little bit better. But you're going to take the sheet and you're going to fold it down so the corners are actually going to meet. This corner on the upper left is going to meet. And I'm gonna show you this, and it's hard to really see it with white in the background. So I just wanna pull it this way, and I'm gonna show you on the green as well. So you're gonna bring it together. Can you see how they line up? So you have it like this, and I did it with the green, so you could kind of envision it a little bit better, all right? So you folded it over, so that point, that tip matches together, and it kind of is level all the way through, and it makes almost like a triangle, all right? And you can see that. And then what you're going to need to do is actually cut this bottom part off. So what I'm gonna do to show you so you can, you can kind of envision it is just trace it with dark marker here. so we can get started with the right size, all right? So we're gonna cut this off. Okay, so once you cut that off and then you open it up, that should make a nice square, all right? So we start with that square, we fold it over, so you have this next, okay? From this point, you're going to fold it over again. And just like we did before, where we take that tip and we have to meet it all the way up to the top, meet it, and don't press down to you. Make sure everything is lining up the way it needs to. And then just go with your finger, pull it down, crease it, and pull it down again. So again, we have another triangle. All right, or at least it looks kind of like a triangle. And then one more time, we're gonna do the same thing. So you're gonna bring it together again, meet that tip, bring it down. And mine doesn't look like it's absolutely perfect, but it will be close enough, all right? And then what you're going to do is start cutting. Now you're going to cut, keep this little spot. This is your bottom. You wanna keep that kind of holding it up like this, all right? So you're gonna start like that. And then from this point, you're gonna to start to cut into this, all right? You can cut, you can make a little loop around the top, you can cut in, but what you do not want to do is take a cut from this side all the way over and cut it off, all right? You wanna just cut in and make little scallop marks, some kind of little decoration, and just watch me as I go, all right? So we're gonna just kind of come in here and we're gonna just do little patterns, all right? We'll go in here like this, we'll make some marks like this, Okay, and it could be any way at all that you want it to be. Now what I'm gonna do is kind of go up like this. Make my own little creation. Something like that. And you can do, as I said, any way you would like to do. And just go in again like this. Make some little scallop marks. You'll want to do this over the table because you'll have little pieces falling all over the place. But get creative with it. Just make your snowflake extra special. You'll be able to pull those little pieces out. And then I think I'm going to just do this. I think I'm going to make a little, little notch on here too. Okay, so you just kind of get in there and let's just make it as fun as you want it to be. And you may want to have your mom or someone help you with it. So this is kind of crazy looking, right? So you have no idea what it's going to be. So then once you get that cut out, and as I said, you don't cut all the way across, then you start to unfold it. All right, you have your first unfold. You're unfolding it. And 
folding it again. And what's it going to look like? Here we go. And this is gonna be your special snowflake, all right? And as I said, you can go back in and cut more if you wanted to, but if you're happy with that snowflake, then how, that's how you'll have it. But you can actually take these, I've seen them where they actually put either a cloth or another piece of thin paper over it and actually press them if you wanna make them straight. Feel free to do that, but that's your snowflake. And that's unique, okay? And we learned how snowflakes are created from that little speck of dust and they're, they come into the atmosphere and they start to get bombarded by different things. And before you know it, you have your own unique little creation. So have fun with it. If you make a snowflake, please feel free to just take a picture of it. Share it with us. We'd love to see them and have fun. And I just hope you remember this lesson. You take something away from it and share the message with your family and your friends. All right. And until I see you next time, have a great day and God bless.